Hi everyone. The 28 entries for Melody Festival in 2020 has just been announced. And I'm with Ryan, Dominic and Alessia to just talk about the entries. So let's get on with it. Start with the first semi-final, uh, which is taking place in Ling Shoping. And we have Malu Price with the song Ballerina, Felix Sandman with Boys with Emotions, Ovu with the song In Your Problem, The Mamas with the song Move, Susie P with the song Moves, Sonia <laughs> Alden with Sluta Aldrigo, and finishing off, Robin Benson with the song Take a Chance. What are our thoughts with the first hmm. semi Well, the obvious big, big one here is Robin Benson who won a couple of years ago mm -hmm. when, when was the last time we had a Melfest winner come back so quickly I'm sure you'll know this off the top of your head so fast like a real yeah, thing so, uh, she was back like five years later oh Lorene Robin wow. yeah Robin's come back three years later yeah maybe that is the quickest for quite a why? Yeah. Um, Dominic, what are your thoughts? I think the first semi-final is so strong. We have, of course, yeah, Robin, and we have Malou. She's mm. also very good, and also mm. like the songs, also following her. Melfi's song this year are so good, and Felix Sandman, and the Mamas, like, so good. And of course, um, Sonia Aldane, which you of course know from her earlier participations. I can't really say something to Over and Susie Pugh based on the names, but I think based on the songwriters, they're also like contenders for for something in the future of the contest. Mm -hmm. um, Alessia, what do you think? I feel like they're starting off really, really strong. I think to kind of come out with this uh, combo of folks in the first heat is really strong. And I know mm. we're going to go through piece by piece, but I would have sprinkled out some of those heavy hitters a little bit later into some of these other heats, if I'm being honest. But I do think that this first one is really going to be kind of a battle between like Malu, Felix, I think the Mamas are in there, and then Robin. Mm -hmm. um, I really feel like those are the four people that will come out of this potentially i i think we also have to remember too that malu was able to go direct to final last year she didn't mm. andra wants in it and i know that there's always been kind of this thing about uh female performers at melody mm -hmm. festival and but i think she could be on a nice like mm -hmm. kind of ace wilder maybe even like mariette path where maybe she doesn't have to worry about that mm -hmm. but i also think that She's in a really strong heat with a lot of other heavy hitters. So maybe she might end up having to Andra Hansen this year. But if she keeps coming out with the material that's consistent with what she's been coming out with ever since mm -hmm. last year at Melfest, I think she's going to be direct. And then the guys are going to have to battle it out. And that being Felix and Robin. And I think the mamas will have a, a moment on the stage, but I don't know if it's necessarily lock for the final per se. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, uh, personally, on my thoughts, um, first of all, I didn't expect Felix to come back this year. She, he wasn't on the radar, so that is on my list. But on some of them, I mean, they've been rumored heavily already through the Swedish media. So on most of it, I'm not as surprised, but, you know, it was expected. So, I mean, it's a really good lineup. And the fact that the, there's a good mixture of new competing artists and returning artists. It meshes very well. So let's just see how the producers um, does the running order, which could potentially make a difference. And to round things off for the first semi-final, um, Alessia, who do you think is the two, I know I've said this, but I just wanted to reconfirm it. Who do you think are the two acts that will go to the final and the two acts that will go to Andra Hansen? I'm going to say that I'm confident that Robin wouldn't be coming with something that would be sleepy or lame. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I think Malu and Robin 
might be lock, but Malu could be shaky with the mamas coming in mm -hmm. uh, to make take her slot. So like, I, I know I'm not committing and I should commit, but I think <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I will say, I will put it in a lock, Malu, Robin, make it through for sure. And then like Felix, mamas, Andra Juanza. Mm -hmm. Dominic? Um, I think um, Zayn and Dennis, who like make the made the performances for the last past three winners, they're also doing the performances for Robin and the Mamas in the semifinal. So I would say Robin is like maybe safe in the semifinal, and the Mamas and Malou could fight it out for the final spot. And then who could be fourth? Yeah, like Felix, probably Felix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ryan. So the. Of the newbies, the one that is exciting me from this description I'm reading is Susie P. Mm -hmm. she's, it says here that she's 16 and yeah. she had a million streaming hit last year. She's mm -hmm. going for a more pop style track and moves. So maybe she could split the vote a bit with Malou. So I'm interested to see how those two work out. But mm -hmm. of the big names, you'd presume Felix and Robin will be the front runners for that director finale in place. Mm -hmm. And... Do I have to pick two for AC as well? Yeah. Ooh. So I think it's going to be one of Malu and Susie. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, yeah, the Mamas maybe as well. If it's mm -hmm. that good staging director that Dom says, yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, then for me, director Finalin would be Robin, definitely. Um, Felix, I said this when he participated in 20, he'll go direct, but he didn't do it. So I might give that to Malou and then give Felix and the Mamas Andra Hansen. But I could be proven wrong. So go on. I just want to say, though, I mean, even though I think that this is a really strong heat and I'm kind of frustrated that OV, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I'm a little bit frustrated that they're in this heat because I think that the song that they're likely to bring is going to be something that's really current. I think they're probably going to be doing something like Afrobeats, and that's really like the moment right now. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of international hits have been uh, Afrobeat songs. I think that was like kind of like the sound of the summer, to be quite frank. So I'm a little bit uh, hopeful for them to maybe at least get some shine. Maybe, mm -hmm. but after I think the demolishing of all the island tracks last year at Melody Festival, and I'm like not that hopeful, even though I think an Afrobeats track could do really well at Eurovision. It, I mean, there is, I mean, it can go, maybe it can go as far as Under Hansen. That, I mean, it has happened before. So who knows? Not in this heat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's too strong anyways. All right, then moving on to the second semi-final, uh, which is taking place in Gothenburg. And we have Linda Benson with the song Aluminia Sorga, Dotter with Bulletproof, Anna Bergendahl with Kingdom Come, Thorsten Flink with Me, Me Like Clear and Esteed, Clara Hammerstrom with Nobody, Paul Ray talking in my sleep, Mendes featuring Alvaro Estrella with Vamos Amigos. Um, who wants to start us off? Well, I, I'm most excited for Doctor actually, because I think her previous entry was a little bit raw. Did she come fifth in the end in her heat? No, she came sixth. Me. She came sixth. Six. She got she even got knocked, worse. She, got, she got knocked out on her I'm, on the first round. And that was from the pimp slot as well, wasn't it? So I'm very mm -hmm. excited for her comeback. I'm glad she has. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Anna, I'm, I am a little bit surprised she's come back so quickly, considering she did so well last year and she sort of restored her image from mm -hmm. what happened in Oslo so many years ago. And now she's more of a nation, nation sweetheart once again. So hopefully she's got a good song to back it up with. Dominic? Um, I think the se second time final is also like very strong. Like the first one, there are like so many big names. Like Linda Bengtsing will probably bring something amazing. Schlager, popish song. Mm -hmm. We have in when Daughter first took part, I was like, she's going to the final, and I was so mm -hmm. shocked. So I'm curious, curious to see what she's coming up with. 
Um, and to, we talked about earlier about Zane and Dennis. They also made Anna's performance. I think she might be like also in for something. Mm -hmm. Probably she was like, I think she was like afraid coming back like before this year. And now she felt, felt like everybody's liking her and she's like well received. She's, she's maybe like liking this energy. Mm -hmm. And I checked earlier for Clara. Mm -hmm. I checked her earlier song and she's also like something I'm very curious about to hear. Mm -hmm. And Alessia? Yeah, so I think that this is also another interesting heat, I think, with the pairing of folks that they've put together. Um, honestly, I, I mean, I definitely agree with everyone. I think Daughter has an opportunity to come back uh, for redemption. I, I do think Daughter was kind of like robbed the last time, but I understood why that song didn't work, even though I loved Cry, the studio track on stage with the dark staging and the enunciation wasn't really together. I mean, if you don't really know what the person is saying clearly, and then you also kind of can't see them clearly, mm -hmm. then how do you connect with it? So I ended up understanding why it didn't make it through, even though I thought the studio track was really strong. But I think of this group of folks, I like Daughter's music just in general mm -hmm. more. So I, I, I really hope that there is a path for redemption here. And actually, uh, the other person that I was most excited about was this Paul Ray. I looked at some of the tracks that they've put out and I really, really love their vocal tone. And I got a little flashback of what it was like when I did my research on like Duncan Lawrence and heard him sing. Like, so this was before mm -hmm. we had his track. So I had kind of like a similar feeling. So honestly, like Daughter and Paul to me are my personal favorites out of this group. No shade to Anna. I don't know if coming back this soon is really the smartest thing for her to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I just have a feeling that the track we're going to get is going to be slightly similar style wise to Ashes to Ashes. And I mean, as much as that had like nice momentum on the tail end of it, it did not qualify direct to final. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think we have to kind of keep that in in the back of our, our minds. I think Linda's going to do something schlagery um, and great, though. So I'm definitely not counting out Linda because I think that that's mm -hmm. going to be a moment. And not to say too much, but like, I think Sweden for some reason just loves Mendez, even though we don't get anything on the pitch and key. Um, it ends up being very fun. Um, <laughs> and I do think the song is probably gonna be something like, you know, Despacito 2.0. I don't know if it's a lock for the final, um, but it could definitely be a solid Andra Hansen mm -hmm. moment because I do think folks really, really like Mendez and what he serves. Mm -hmm. All right, then. And for me, um, same with the first semifinal. I really I really like what the theme where they're going, where they're keeping a balance of all the artists. I really like the returning artists. But at the same time, I'm also interested with the new ones, especially with um, Paul Ray, because he actually collaborated with another previous Melody Festival and participant. He um, collaborated with Molly, Molly Hammer with one of his tracks, which I really, really like, so that's another thing. And I also agree with what Alessia said about Daughter for Redemption, which I think after the success that she had with Mons earlier this year, I think that kind of pushed her up a bit and, you know, made her self a more established name than what she was before. And for Anna Bergendahl, uh, I mean, it was inevitable. I think after what she did earlier on this year with Ashes to Ashes, I think she worked well, but I am trying to think, and I hope that she doesn't stick with the same uh, with the same theme, or she does something else different. But we won't know that. But that's for us to decide when we hear the previews in February. So to wrap things up, um, Dominic, who's gonna go to finale and who's gonna go to Under Hansen? I think I'm going with. Oh, that's difficult. I don't know. Um, I think, I think Clara Hammerstrom is going to mm -hmm. the final. Ooh. To yeah, like risky thing maybe. I have high hopes here. Maybe with Mendes and Alvaro, because like every day is a bob and bedroom is a bob, so this can mm -hmm. only be good. And second chance for daughter and Anna. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Alessia? So I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to roll the dice. Um, I'm going to say that I think, um, I think Paul Ray is going to be in with the surprise. Uh, and I think Paul with a dope song will qualify for the final. I'm going to go ahead and say that I think we might end up having like a supply surprise schlager winning moment with Linda going to the final. And then I'm going to say that like daughter and Mendez end up being Andra Juanson. And then Anna ends up being kind of like our surprise. I don't want to say flop, but like our surprise. You no longer get to continue on this journey. <laughs> uh, Ryan, how about you? Right. I'm just looking back very quickly to 2012. Mm -hmm. came third with the viewers by the mm -hmm. looks of it so i'm scared to rule him out so that's who we got so yeah with what you guys are saying about paul ray i'm very intrigued by what he's going to do and there's usually that male soloist maybe a bit of piano in there who does well in this sort of thing so i'll put him in the final mm -hmm. and i'm, I'm going to go with this Thurston Flink, who I remember not liking, but obviously the Swedish public do. For second chance, <laughs> then there's Anna or Dotta, and then there's Linda as well. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put Linda out. I'm gonna say Dotta and Anna. Me mm -hmm. and Mendez will just be out. It's okay, difficult. then. I know. Okay. Um, for me. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm finding it difficult. Um, Anna definitely for finale. Um, I'm gonna give my second one to Paul Ray, and then for Andra Hansen, um, I'll put Doctor, and then along with Mendes. Oh my god, Nathan's gonna kill me because I put <laughs> Linda Bensing out. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me. <laughs> All right then, and then that wraps up your body. And now we're going to go on to the third semi-final, which is taking place in Lulia. Hopefully I said that right. And we got Faith Kakembo with Crime Rivers, Amanda Asa with Lates, Albin Jonsson with Live Burianu, Drang Garner with Pig Oak Drum, Mariette with Shout It Out, Anis Don Demina with Vem Ar Sum Us, and Mohambi with the song winners. Uh, first thoughts. I'll start. So I actually feel like this is the weak heat, in my mm. opinion, the weakest, because to me, this is just all fully set up for Mariette to go on direct to final. I think folks love Mahombi, but I think last year he had the advantage because he had really inventive staging. I don't know if that'll be on his side this time around. Um, but for me, it's just like Mariette by a mile is just going to take this comfortably. I would also note the fact that we have two rappers in one heat I thought was an interesting choice. I don't, I don't understand why they would have two rappers in the same heat. Um, I think that they'll end up canceling each other out. But again, um, Mariette and Mahomby, <laughs> I think, will be able to slide on through. I think Faith is a strong, like, new singer. So I'm curious to see what she brings. Mm -hmm. um, I looked up Amanda, and I, I, I'm i like, it's cute. It's cool. It could be an interesting uh, vocal moment, potentially, and maybe, like, a surprise little debut kind of performance with Amanda. Mm -hmm. Uh but again, I think as a lock to go through, so you don't even have to come back on me with this one. Marriott and Mahomby are in the best positions um, mm -hmm. of this heat, from my perspective. Yep. Uh, Dominic, your thoughts? Yeah, I think the semifinal is very, very, how to say that? It's like, like Elsa said, you have like two very big names, and then you have like the others, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, we have like Amanda from the P Fira Nesta wildcard mm -hmm. and Faith who was also taken part there. So we have like newcomers in here, like very a lot of newcomers. We have um, 
Trengana, the, the dance band, dance band, who mm -hmm. like usually end up better than I expect to. And it's very hard to predict the 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 places behind Mariette and Mohambi. Like I think it's wide open there, mm -hmm. and a lot can happen. But it's kind of obvious from the names who will be like the winners of the evening. Mm -hmm. And Ryan? So always saying that Trangana will be similar to, was it Avingana? The I Do song. Is it going to be a similar sort of thing? It could be. Because that, so, yeah, cause like you said, that did a lot better than a lot of people expect. Mm hmm. It, it's not going to underestimate those. So obviously, we've got Mariette and Mohambi. Behind mm -hmm. that, it is looking very old. That Aniston de Mina, he was on that Mina Branda song, yes? Yeah. Did that get to AC or did it just miss no, out? No, it, mm -hmm. it, got, it got knocked out fifth. But it was a big hit in the end, I think. So maybe I'm intrigued to see how that one goes. Mm -hmm. Amanda Astor, she's the, the what's it called? P3 Nasta? P4 Nasta. She's yeah. that entry, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yes. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you say, she could be an interesting debutant. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in, in regards to the names, mm -hmm. it's definitely looking like Marietta Mahomes is to lose in this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, personally for me, by the looks of it, um, I mean, it's not like the names are not known. I just think that, like, it's just depending on, I mean, Marietta and Mohambi, of course, they're well-known widely but i think with like that one they've kind of i don't know what it is but every time there's always that one semi-final that just has all of the weakest entries and then we'll just end up having a surprise like su uh, uh, someone that's just going to bring up a surprise and then suddenly goes to the final or and then sub and then knocks out someone unexpectedly that we didn't think that was going to get knocked out but by looking at it i mean albin jonson did participate previously in Melody Festival and so it's not like you know the names are not known but overall I agree with you with all of you it's Maria and Mohambi I think they've set it up for them to just go through to the um to finale so I'm gonna start this off just to make it easier um for me looking at it um I think it will be Mohambi and Maria to finale and then for Andra Hansen, I'm going to put it up there and say Annie Stone Demina and I'd say Amanda Asa. Because I think out of all those ones I've looked at, um, I think um, Amanda Asa can do uh, uh, something like, um, I don't know, maybe like Rebecca Carlson did earlier this year where she might just inch oh, I it. Her, so. Yeah, she might, like, she <laughs> might just inch it to the final but she goes up Andra Hansen instead with the new voting rules. Um, Ryan, what are your um, predictions? Right, so I'll go for a little bit of a surprise because that's easy as we may think. So I'll go Mariette top two with Drangana because I'm not going to underestimate them and that will drop Mahumbi into second chance and yeah, I have a good feeling about Annie Stone Demina after Mina Branded turned into such a big hit. So mm -hmm. I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. I uh, will, yeah, I will piggyback off of Ryan a little bit with one switch. I think it will be Marriott and Drunkana. And I, and I say that because really with Mahombi, with Love, I wasn't really a fan of the Hello track. I think the inventive staging helped him out a lot. So mm -hmm. I think Mahombi might be in an Andra Hansen situation. And then I'm actually thinking that if any rapper were to rise to the occasion, I think it's going to be Albin. Uh, he has the stronger, I think, tracks outside of this. I, I saw the Ennis done, and Albin stuff is way more current, way more fresh, I think. Uh, so I would go with that rapper. But because I don't have faith in rappers, I'm actually going to say Faith has a surprise <laughs> performance and then trumps it out there because I think she could end up with a really strong song. And if everyone loves the mamas and all of this, you know, soul, mm -hmm. looking at the stuff that she has delivered, she will give it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. And Dominic? Um, yeah, I think, of course, Maria is going to the final. 
I also think Mohampi is going through. Um, and then it's like difficult. I think Telangana will be, of course, in the second chance. They have like, I think they're like bringing the party and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking first Album or Faith. They could both surprise. Mm -hmm. And when I first read the names, I was more tending to Album, but now I'm thinking attending more to Faith. Mm -hmm. Like now I remember like her face, I was like, she could surprise. Mm -hmm. feeling maybe all right then okay then moving on we're off to our final semi-final and Del Tabling Fira will take place in Malmo Malmo <laughs> okay uh, yeah our favorite Eurovision <laughs> host city all right then so um we got Hannah Firm with Brave Nani Grunva with Carpool Karaoke William Sturt Stritz with Monlu Jacob Carlberg with Om du Tro at Yog Song Nodi. Ellen Benedictson and Simon Peyron with Surface. Victor Crone with Troubled Waters. Frida Urn and We Are One. And I'm going to start this off. Um, I know that Victor was, Victor was rumored way before this and I did not expect him to go through with it. And I think it's too quick. Like, I mean, he just represented Estonia and now he's back for Sweden. Um, I think that's just a little bit of a, I don't know, I've got a mixed feelings about it. It's like, why represent one nation? Is he, did he just use Estonia to then jumpstart his career? I mean, to Sweden, I mean, Storm was a big hit there afterwards. So that's my judgment call on that. Um, Hannah Firm, not a surprise after her success in Melody Festival in last year, so that's a given. Um, Ellen Benedictson, I mean, I know she's been quiet recently, but and I mean, I think she changed her name and then now she changed it recently, she changed it back to her name and posted like a little hit on Instagram that she was coming back with the picture that she had from 2015. So I think she's just wanting a jump start back again and now she's with oh god his name with simon payron which i mean i'm not familiar with them but it could be interesting to see how a duet would do um alessia what do you think of this semi-final so i have to say i was really surprised at how they set up this heat because i actually feel like the heat is kind of set up for victor to shine a little bit I feel like with both William and Jacob, even though they're both these kind of like young male singers, I do believe that they sort of cancel each other out. Of William and Jacob, I I do feel like Jacob is a little bit of the stronger performer. William, vocally speaking, I saw a lot of his Swedish Idol performances and the vocal just wasn't really completely there for me personally. He's very cute and I like his styling, but I don't know if the song will be enough um ellen uh performing with simon i don't know if y'all remember insomnia i was mm -hmm. not a fan so of good. insomnia yeah. i was not a fan <laughs> um mostly because of the delivery i loved the styling and mood that was created but then she was smiling through the whole performance and i'm like i was looking for like dark gothic queen <laughs> like bringing me this song and um, i didn't really get that with her like smiling like a pop diva so um, I just don't have high hopes for that. So for me, mm -hmm. and I, I think with Hannah, I think we have to remember she is now by herself this time. And um, I don't know, with Hannah, I just keep getting this weird like Issa flashback and I am someone who loves Issa. Mm -hmm. And when she came back, she did not go to Andra Hansen or direct to final, you know? So I'm feeling like with the wrong song, this could end up falling flat. It could be a little bit too much of like maybe a Disney moment because I think they're giving her power ballad. I just have a feeling that this is gonna be a power ballad song. And I don't know how that will go with all of kind of like, I think the young guys battling it out and giving us something really poppy and fresh. And I think Victor does get an edge if he kind of keeps that like, country pop dance mm -hmm. vibe yeah mm -hmm. yeah dominic um i think we have like a big variety here like a lot of artists a lot of big artists well-known artists new artists 
Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious, like Hannah said she was confirmed already for last year's or this year's edition, but then they came up with the Liamo idea and then made this into the entry. So I'm like curious if Brave is the, is her entry from this year actually, and she's just like coming back with that. Um, I think Nana will like bring a great fun song. I'm curious to see what Jacob will bring because I love his earlier stuff and I think he's like he could go very well in the semi-final. And yeah, Ellen, I loved her two entries. Insomnia was great. And the mm -hmm. sing, sing word, song word, that was also so good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, I'm happy to see Victor Krohn back. Like Storm <laughs> was huge. And I'm happy that he's like, when I mean, he took part in 2015. And I think he went to he was out or went to under Sunshine? Under Sunshine? Under Hansen got kicked yeah. out. Oh, okay. So I'm like, maybe he's like, that's a good song. I'm confident. And my song, song was a big success. So I'm hoping he has like a shot for the final. Mm -hmm. And Ryan, finally, your thoughts. So I think obviously Heat 4 Song 7 is a been a big thing in recent years they obviously stick a really strong one there and the only ones i can sort of imagine being heat for song seven is either victor or hammer so you presume one of them has got one of the big big songs of the whole contest but which one is it i'm not sure mm -hmm. i think it's good victor's come to melfest because mm -hmm. unlike anna he has got something to prove in his home country where whereas anna sort of reproved herself last year um mm -hmm. And if Say Storm came a big hit, then I think it's right to ride off the wave of that and try and make his mark in Sweden again properly. Mm -hmm. um, see, I don't really know much about Nana Gromwell. I think she's a bit before my time. <laughs> 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 she, she's done well in the past, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. To wrap this up, finally, um, I'll start this off. I would say to go to Detective Finale, and I'm just going to be really basic, so... Fight me all you want on this. Director for Nolan is Hannah Firm and Victor Krohn. And Andra Hansen, I would say Ellen Benedictson and Simon Peyron and Jacob Kahlberg. Um, Alessia? So for me, I think that Victor's definitely going to be direct to final. I think he's got a banger in there. And I actually think Nana could come. Because y'all have to remember, even though she's older and seasoned, she's not that type of like, oh, I'm about to be like the seasoned, like old lady on the stage. It's about to be a show with some pyro. She's probably going to be dancing. She might even be showing a little bit of skin. Like, I think that this performance is really going to be a showstopper. And I think she definitely could end up direct to final. I think Hannah might be Andra Hansening it. And maybe Jacob. Andra Hansen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan? What are your predictions? Hmm. So, <laughs> oh God, it's difficult. I will go for Hannah to the fine with a surprise from Jacob, maybe. Mm -hmm. Then I will go second chance for Victor. And from what you guys are saying, Nana. And there finally... <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Dominic. Yeah, I think like Nana is like a legend. Like, yeah, I just she st <laughs> she steps on stage and the whole arena will stand and cheer for her. And I think the atmosphere might carry her mm -hmm. somewhere. I'm not sure if it's the final or second chance. Um, I think I'm going with Victor for the final, and with Jacob to the final, with um, Ellen and Simon together with Nana going to second chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's well, difficult. I know it's a, I mean, that's a big, I mean, I, I'm really surprised with like the amount of people in like the way the semi-final is structured. So I can't wait to head to Malmo and just watch this. Um, I'm not gonna 
I'm gonna. I'm not gonna preempt it. I'm just gonna leave it a surprise and not say it's gonna be a car crash or anything. But we we know we're gonna get some surprises at some point in this year. So and next year's about a defensive valid. <laughs> and on that note, that finishes up our little reaction towards Melody Festival and the artist for next year's competition. If you like the video, then press the like and the subscribe button. Don't forget to push that notification bell to be the first, one of the first people to know when we got a new video. But for now, good night and Taxamika.